Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this tutorial series, we are designing this home page from scratch using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Now in the previous video, we took a look at the demo of our website. Now in this video, we will start designing this. So in this video, we will design this navbar. So let's get started. Right here, I have created this folder called app dev homepage and I just opened it with VS code. And also have this folder called images where we have all these images which we're going to use in our design. So let's start by creating the necessary files. I'll just create a new file called index.html. And let's create one more file called style.css. And let's create one more file called main.js. And let's start with the index.html file. Now in VS Code you can just type exclamation and press tab. And you'll have this basic HTML5 code. Now here for the title let's type welcome. So this title will be displayed at the top over here. And then let's link our style or CSS file. So let's type link and press tab. And here in the href, let's type style or CSS. And we will link the JavaScript in the body. So let's type script colon src and press tab. And here let's type main.js. Now the first thing we will do is we'll create a container division. So if you take a look at our website and if we zoom out a little bit, we can see that all the content is displayed inside a specific max width. So for that, we're going to create a division. And we're going to call the division container. So let's create a division with the class of container. And in that we will create this nav bar. So for the nav bar, let's create a nav element. And in the nav element, we need to have the logo on the left side. So let's create a division with the class of logo. And in that, let's create an anchor tag. And here, let's type logo. You can add the logo of your website over here. You can also add an image if you like. You can just add an IMG tag and add the source of your image over here. I'll just type logo for now. And then the next thing we will do is we'll create these menu items. So let's go outside this logo division and let's create a division with a class of menu items. And in that we will have all these anchor tags that we see over here. So let's create an anchor tag. And uh, you can add the link of your about us page over here. I'll just type hash for now and here let's type about us. And we need to have three more links and one button. So I'll just duplicate this uh, four times. And for the second one, let's type services. And for the third one, let's type blog. And then we have contact us. And then lastly, we have this button with the text of learn. Now, since this is a button, we need to style it differently. So let's also add a class over here called BTN. So that's basically it with the HTML of the navbar. Now let's go ahead and style this. Before that, let's open this in our browser and let's see how it looks. So I have this extension called live server installed in VS Code. So once you have this installed, you can just right click over here in the HTML file and click on open with live server. And here we can see that our content is displayed in the browser. Now let's go ahead and style this and make it look like this. So let's go to our style or CSS file. And first of all, let's import the fonts that we see in our website. So we are using a font called Inter in our website. So let's get the font from Google Fonts. All right, so here I'm in fonts.google.com and let's search for Inter. And let's select this font and let's click on Get Font. And here we have the link that we can add to our HTML or CSS. So let's click on Get Embed Code and you can add it in HTML or CSS. If you want to add it in the HTML, you can just copy this link and add it to your head section. I'll just add it to the CSS. So let's go to the import and let's copy this import from here and let's paste it over here. So the fonts have been imported. All right now the next thing we will do is we will add some reset styles. So let's type asterisk for selecting everything and we'll also select all the before and the after elements. And here let's type box sizing border box and this will make sure that we have the correct height and width for all the elements. And now the next thing we will do is we will create some variables for the colors so that if you want to later change the colors, we can do that by just changing in one place. So we will access the root and here let's create a variable called dark color. And let's add this hex code of 1A1423. So this is the dark color that we have. And let's create one more color called light color. And for the hex code, let's type FDFFFC. 
and let's add an accent color and uh, for this color let's type 7161EF so this is the accent color so we have all the colors created as variables now if you want to change the colors you can just change it over here in one place and it will be changed in all the sections of our website now the next thing we will do is uh, we will target the body and we'll remove the default margin that we have so now we can see that we don't have any margins now here in the body let's also select the color so let's set the color to var dark color and the color of these anchor tags are not changing because uh, we need to specifically target that so let's go ahead and type a and uh, let's set the color to var dark color and now we can see that the color of the anchor tags have changed now for the anchor tags we also don't want to have the underlines so let's go ahead and type text decoration and let's set it to none and now we don't have the underlines all right now the next thing we will do is we will style the container so for the container we need to have a max width set and we also need to bring it to the center horizontally so here we can see that we have created this division of the class of container so let's target that let's type dot container and uh, let's add a max width of 1200 pixels and uh, let's bring it to the center by typing margin inline and let's set it to auto and let's add a padding of zero top and bottom and 32 pixels left and right and now we can see that the content is uh, having a max width and we also have the content centered horizontally now let's also change the font family of all the elements so let's go over here to this asterisk selector and here let's type font family and let's set it to enter and sans serif so now we can see that the font has changed now before adding the styles for the navbar let's also add some more common styles so we will style the btn class so here we can see we have this btn class so here let's go ahead and type dot btn and for the button let's go ahead and add a background color of var accent color and let's set the color of the text to var light color and let's go ahead and type padding and let's set it to 8 pixels top and bottom 32 pixels left and right and let's set the display to inline block so that if we add some margin top or bottom it should be added to this button because it is an anchor tag and by default anchor tags are set to display of inline and let's also set the font weight to 500 and uh, this is how the button looks when you hover this button we need to change some styles so we need to change the color of the button so let's type dot btn colon hover and let's set the background color to a darker color so let's type hash 5947 de here let's also type transition all to 300 milliseconds ease so that we have this smooth transition for the hover effect now we need to create other button styles also like this outlined button and also this uh, light button but we'll do that later let's go ahead and start with the styling of the nav bar so let's go ahead and add a comment i'll just tap nav bar so let's target the nav and first of all we'll set the position to fixed so that even if we scroll down the nav bar should still be there at the top let's type display of flex and justify content to space between so that the logo is on the left side and the other content on the right side we'll also align them vertically so let's type align items to the center now since we set the position to fixed we don't have the correct width for the element so let's type left of zero and right of zero and let's add a max width of 1200 pixels and let's also bring it to the center i'll just type margin inline auto and now we can see we have the correct width now let's go ahead and add a z index so that it is above all the other elements and let's set it to five and let's add a padding of 16 pixels top and bottom 32 pixels left and right now we need to add this glass effect so for that let's go ahead and type background and let's set the color to rgba 255 255 255 and for the opacity let's tap 0.8 and then we need to type backdrop filter and uh, we need to set it to blur and let's type 10 pixels and for other browsers let's also type hyphen hyphen webkit backdrop filter and this should be blur not blue and uh, let's also add a box shadow so let's type box shadow 0 
8 pixels, 42 pixels, RGBA, 0, 0, 0, and 0 0.1. And here we can see we have this box shadow. Now for these menu items, we need to add some space in between. So let's target the element. We have this class of menu items. So let's tap nav, menu items. And uh, let's set the display to flex, align items to the center. And let's set a gap of 40 pixels between the elements. And let's set the font weight to 500 as well. Now when we hover over these menu items, we need to change the color. So let's tap nav, menu items, A colon hover. And let's set the color to var accent color. And now we can see we have this hover effect. And here also we have the change in the color. So let's revert the color for this button. So we can go ahead and type nav menu items btn colon hover. So when you hover over the button inside the nav bar, we need to keep the color as the light color. And uh, now we can see that everything looks all right. All right, now the last thing we need to do in this nav bar is style this logo. So let's go ahead and type nav logo. And let's set the font weight to 700. And uh, let's set the font size to 18 pixels. And this is how it looks. We can go ahead and remove nav from here. So we can use the logo styles in the footer as well. So this is our nav bar. And uh, with that, we have completed designing the nav bar of our website. In the next video, we will design this uh, hero section over here. So that's basically it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.